Hey, I'm going to tell the truth about how I personally feel about 1090 Jake and the OG3 Greedo situation. However, however to say homie name. I remember when Greedo went to jail and I remember what happened or what not. But the truth is, man, for me to be honest with OG3 Greedo situation, I could care less who's a snitch, who's not a snitch. I already made that statement on this platform. We, we rarely talk about who snitch and who don't snitch. I, can you imagine I make my money invested into worrying about who told or not? I don't care about street life. Street life has crippled the entire community that looks like me. Street life have made all the way from these young to grown old niggas is still on YouTube and the streets and all acting a fool. I'm embarrassed by street dudes. I got a lot of street homie friends, but the reason why we friends, them dudes don't act like a lot of these marks who act like that. You feel me? These st former street dudes, they change their life and they grow up to be older. And I used to be from the streets too. So I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just saying when you reach a certain point in your life, you realize it's a mockery. But let's just be honest about the Greedo situation. If Greedo was me and you heard me on video telling the cops, oh man, I knew something wasn't right about this. I got paid 3000 for this. The whole neighborhood and everybody on YouTube and everywhere would call a dude like me a rat. But because I'm not part of a gang, because I'm not, I don't have well, I do have alleged certain step of homies. I ain't going to get into that. We we all got them in our families. But because I don't got this big name like Greedo, I would be canceled. I would. So I, I didn't even want to talk about this Greedo situation because I really personally didn't give a damn. I was in the hospital after an accident and I seen 1090 Jake's video. It was through recommendation. I don't even click on these videos. But for Greedo and knowing who he is... No, I don't really know him, but I remember when he was on No Jumper saying he's about to do a 20-year bid or something like that. So I was interested just to see what it was. Like, damn, Jake, you got another one? Like, you know, it was more being annoyed than you get what I'm saying. It was, it's no disrespect to Jake. It's just that it seems weird that people in this community are more fascinated on who snitches or not. If I did t content like 1090 Jake, I wouldn't be alive. Based on the neighborhood I come from. Based on who's my folks and where my mom and them still live in them trenches, I wouldn't be alive. And then the lames that be in the comment sections who over criticize me, they be the same one cheerleading 1090 Jake videos. So you can't win with marks on the comment sections. Therefore, I don't care about the comment section. But the facts still remain. Greedo did damn near try to tell on his own homie or excuse himself out of a situation to let his folks get the blame because he said he got paid three thousand dollars to ride the whip and he you feel me felt something was uncomfortable about this that's not right bro where we come from that is like ratting and snitching i'm not putting that on him but what, what you want me to lie about I have nothing against Greedo. If he got good music, I'll still listen to his music. I'm not these lames who say all that. And, and I be on Cleveland Avenue listening to Gunner's music. You feel me? Shout out to all them real ones in Cleveland Avenue. I said I will forever look out for Atlanta, protect Atlanta, and I give money back to Atlanta because I got kids born in Atlanta, you, just like Florida. So why would I not help support whatever they got going? Yes, even if it's Gunner music because you got to separate the human being from the artwork. I look at it as artwork. If that's the case and y'all feel about Gunner like that, you can't listen to R. Kelly music anymore because I don't care about Robert, but I like the music because I separate the art. And if y'all want to criticize me, they just did a whole movie about Elvis. And we know what Elvis, who he married to, at what age she was when he was meeting her. And do, I don't want to get into that. But we know this world keeps the art of certain monsters we had in this world. So I'm not going to judge Gunner like that. I mind my business because I ain't got nothing to do with me. But it's good music. If Greedo got good music, I would still listen to it. But don't ask me to be honest. Did Greedo snitched or not? Yes, he did. It seems like a lot of his grape homies, and I'm not saying all the grapes, but because people close to him, they're they're moving the goalposts. They're saying things like, well, his homie is out right now. I, nigga, that's just the spear of the most high. You should think the most high that you both are home today after getting whatever y'all got. But it doesn't matter to me if someone got arrested or not, which they did get arrested. It's just you got lucky. But what is that initial situation? 
You said you were paid $3,000 to drive this car and you felt something was wrong. Tell me if that's not someone trying to hide their hands, wipe it and putting the blame on the other person you with. All I'm going to say is before anybody get mad at me, if you're my own brother and you did that to me, what greed or I'm not, I didn't even say snitch or not. Well, in fact, let's excuse snitch out of this whole language on this video. If any of my family did what Greedo did, I heard the audio and I seen what he said. If any, if I don't care if it was my dad, my brother, my friends, cousins, anybody, I can't hang with you no more because you deliberately try to throw me under the bus to save yourself. Number one, these cops and these DEAs, they're not magistrates. They're not judge, counselors, i.e. attorneys, none of that. Why are you doing folding to them and saying, Oh man, I knew something was wrong. You got paid $3,000 to drive this car, even if that was a lie. And that's another thing. A lot of you dudes be like, I gave a statement, but I lied to the cops. Can I do the same thing? Would y'all let me get away with the same thing? I think not. So I just find it goofy that a lot of this situation has been very impartial, very biased. And it, it's the reason why I love my kids. And I tell my kids, the street life is a comedy joke. Yes, people are dying. Yes, street dudes kill and all that. But it doesn't excuse that. It's a comedy joke. Yes, it's a dangerous situation. Yes, people could smack you, do all that. But it's still a comedy joke. It is. Think about it. We got true oppressors and these dudes have become ingrown terrorists to their own communities. Yet they don't even follow their own codes that I remembered I got jumped for. They don't even follow their own codes and rules that I seen some of my friends who are six feet under the ground now that got murk for doing what Greedo did. I'm not going to get into that. Factual. I'm from I'm from Briar County, Florida. It's dudes who ain't breathing and living right now. And, and they were my middle school friends, high school friends. They didn't make it past high school. And you didn't even let a 17 year old get loose like y'all let Greedo did. But all of a sudden, these codes and I love all this. I'm not saying I, I reward 1090 Jake. I don't even follow the dude like that. I just ain't got nothing against him. I once spoke out against him and I got attacked by my own community. So now it's like, Jake, just do what you do. I mind my own business. It's not me. I guess there's a sector of people who love that snitch and who's telling and all that. But I don't find none of that funny. I got a lot of friends who ain't breathing today because people thought they did what Greedo did and they ain't breathing no more. So the streets is a joke. I, that's why I love Troy Ave. The streets is a myth. And we can't get no progress in these communities with you clown shows. You guys are the worst of the worst. Overgrown men who don't know how to grow up and be men out here. I respect the hustlers and even some of the dealers out here. Because at the end of the day, they ain't out here kicking in doors and robbing nobody. They found a way to make their money and they ain't no different than the pharmaceutical company. So shout out to all the plugs out there and all the real hustlers out there. And I hate to admit it, even some of the scammers out there. Because at least they ain't robbing and killing nobody. They found a way to do a hustle. And they doing that. Shout out to them females who walk in the streets at night on Fig and all these other neighborhoods. Because, yeah, you might judge them, but they just getting their money through a hustler mentality. I could respect that. So I'm not judging nobody. I'm just saying that street life, it's a bum life. And it's not just a bum life. It's a terrorist life to destroy your own kind for no damn reason. And I know it's a mark out there that's mad because I'm saying this. Even though I'm very respectful, humble, and coming as your brother, your family. But you'll still want to see me dead. But if it's your homie, everybody gather up together so you can just give this homie a pass. Like I said, if any of mine's told the cops what Greedo said, notice I ain't calling him a snitch, none of that. But if, if any of my homies did what Greedo did, even if we all came home free, I could never be around you, dog. I can't, bruh. And that's why I don't preach the street life to nobody. Because all the times when I was jumping and tapping into the streets, I lost a whole lot. Friends, I lost part of my own life doing dumb things for no reason. Maybe I could have been a doctor or something, but niggas dropping out of school, trying to follow the wave. I got snitched on in real life. Go check mine. I got snitched on by three people who were older. Well, two was younger than me. One was older than me. And, and, and it was a bag they stole. That I, I don't want to get into that. But let's just say we didn't even get to the interrogation room. And they're already telling the cops, oh, it, it, he said it was this auntie's car. So I've been in that situation of being told on. And I still don't care who snitches or not because it's a clown show. I should have never been friends with that group of people. So it's my fault I got snitched on. When will you dudes take accountability? It's my fault for trying to follow that inner circle of lames and losers. Will you be better? That's why each and every single video I've been doing on YouTube, I end it with love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed.
Deuces, man. Love each and every single one of y'all. I just came from eating good vegetables, being healthy, and I don't smoke no more. Life feels good to be living a bum life. That's what a counselor told me in high school. You living a bum life right now, bless. And I was, man. It feels good to come back to the real life and the real world. Stop playing these real life street video games because everybody loses.